Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Supernatural. Last episode, we rescued Sam, which was really great. Sam and Mary had their moment. Dean's still trying to navigate having Mary around. And, uh, you know, the family dynamics are on display, which I'm very excited to get into more. Uh, the Mena letters, more of them showed up. Apparently they're gonna reprimand that lady for how aggressive she was but they're bringing in that scary guy. So yay, whatever. But uh, Lucifer being Rick Springfield, he's got a, a, a rocker, is a uh, weird, <laughs> but I guess it's an aesthetic choice. And uh, I'm, I'm excited for, I'm excited to see what Crowley's gonna do now, cause hopefully he'll wanna save his mom because she is very much in Lucifer's grip, but hopefully he'll go to Sam and Dean, but well, I never really know where we're at with Crowley these days. Uh, I'm excited to get back into it. This next episode is called The Foundry. I don't know what that means. So let's get into it. Did you hear that? Yeah, I'm chasing that house over there. That yeah, abandoned house? There. What the hell? I'm getting some real Mary Sam vibes here. Ooh. Hi. Ooh. I know it's just a doll. Ooh. Ooh. What? <laughs> After you left heaven, when did it start to feel like... like you fit? Well, I'm still not sure I do. You do! You do belong here. Oh, yeah. You know what? Sometimes a haircut is really what you need. The London Chapter House. Good. Something? Uh, something. Yeah. Uh, not so much. So much redacted. I have to go. No. What? What? The devil is free because of me finding him is my responsibility. Cassie, yes, you're going to want some backup on this. Yeah. If it is him, I will call you. In the meantime, I think you're needed here. I'm gonna keep it short if I'm gonna go out on a hunt, you know? Why give the bad guys the advantage of long, pullable hair, right? <laughs> wow. I'm trying to tell Sam that for years. <laughs> Come on. Is he uh, going out on a hunt? <laughs> Family hunting trip. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Y'all have a lot in common. Uh, it's Good. Oh, it's weird. Oh, Sam's and Bexie. <laughs> this is a different dynamic. This is exactly what I wanted to see, though. Well, good luck, Sam. You got two of them. <laughs> okay, Agent Beyonce. <laughs> nice. <laughs> no one will see past that. Because that makes me oh, 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 oh! Hell yes. Just doesn't make any damn sense. Is this a burn? Frostbite. Yeah. Frostbite. What are the odds? <laughs> Cassie? They brought us together. Team Not up. Interested. Why not? Come on, Cass. Besides. <laughs> While you were gabbing with Vince's second fiddle, I was ransacking his room. Got something over here. Shit. <gasps> Why are you freezing, kid? <gasps> oh. The optics. Oh. Uh, I've got police reports filed from 2004, uh, 91, 89, 85, oh, God. 78. We'll teach you how to do this. But also, she she wasn't gonna knock doors. Why knock doors? Maybe she'll get something you can't find on the net. <laughs> you look great. Knocking doors. <laughs> you know, the gift he gave you, I can take away. Like, oh. And then he just took off with his groupie friend. His groupie friend. Redheaded broad. Didn't say much. Oh, really? I thought your motivation was ambition and revenge, but now I know you just want to save your mother. You know what? That might have something to do with it. 
and you want me to make this vessel permanent, strong enough to hold you. This one? Rick Springfield? Does look good on me. Uh, children spirits of informants. Their cries to help lure adults to their death. Anything about frozen hearts? Uh, no, oh, this I metaphor. This is just from old, incomplete folk accounts. He didn't want to hurt me. He was scared. I would listen to her, though. Oh, oh, we're just going directly there, huh? Okay. Maybe, maybe, uh, you should probably here. tell them what you just saw. It's Carl's cheek. That's him. I'm sorry for judging all this up again. Oh, it's okay. That's terrible. That grim is work. terrible. It is yeah. such grim work. Can we for once just not turn everything into a problem? You know, can we for once just have one good thing? Uh, Dean, well, it's, it's going to okay. become a problem if you don't deal with it. She's struggling. She's struggling. She's trying to bury herself in hunting to avoid dealing. How do you know that? Because that's what y'all do. experience. <laughs> like mother, like sons. 100%. Thank you, Sam, for recognizing that. Weapons bag is missing. She doesn't know how to use a cell phone, guys. How is she supposed to reach you? She misses you so much. Oh my god. Go now. Come on. I'm using a hybrid spell of my own device. Book of the Damned and Celtic Magic. Damn. Damn, Damn she's, she's an asset. All those we need her. We need her. mightiest tree. I can be of value beyond this spell. And if you were smart. We'll see. But you don't play well with others. Thank you, my lady. She hates you. Yes! Rowena! My girl. Fuck him up. Yes! 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 What's keeping you here? I love her. What's keeping him here? Um, past drama? Who the fuck are you? You killed them all. <gasps> Azazel. Oh my god, stop. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's possessed. Fuck. My my children. Uh-uh. Don't you freeze his heart! No. Dean, I, I don't know if everything is fightable. You gotta get it out of her. Go! Way to go, Mary. Yes. Damn. Dean is just like one hell of a motivational speaker. <laughs> Heal the trauma. Whoa, shit. Yes, yeah, Sam. Break down her walls. <laughs> Fucking die. hope you can heal your the inner children of your grown kids we'll get there we'll get there i believe it rowena did that shit y'all need to ask her to help y'all because <laughs> she didn't need Lucifer, rescuing and I loathe that I had any part in letting him out of the pit he belongs in. So Aww, good. If you get Lucifer cornered and find yourself in need. Yes. I'm there. Yes! I'll take it. Well, you kicked ass. 
Yeah. I kicked ass. Y'all helped. <laughs> you saved me. I was. Yeah, you were right. She was right. You know, those kids were innocent. All right, you're home now. No. No? Every moment I spend with you reminds me. Every moment I lost with them. But this is real. And I thought hunting, working would clear my head. I have to go. Like far? Or to Lawrence? Dean, oh. Y'all still have so much to work through. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Ow. I love you both. Oh, God. Ow. Well, where are you going? Are you going home? I mean, you're a grown adult. Did you, I mean, do, do you want... Okay, that was tough, and I don't know if it's necessarily the right thing to do, but it seems like it's what she needs right now, uh, but it's not going to fix what eventually needs to be fixed, which is they need to talk about some stuff, um, but this brought up a lot for her, you know, the possession brought her back to that place and it makes sense that in heaven she was with her young sons but you know those are just memories like these are your actual sons but she a she's not gonna be in every episode so they have to have her not be around all the time and you know they recognized in her that she felt different, um, like she was struggling, which is what Sam said. And I, you know, it's not like she's walking out on them and not gonna, not gonna reach out. I imagine they're gonna keep in contact, but that's tough for them. Finally, having her back and then her leaving pretty soon after. I get where she's coming from like two weeks ago I was talking to Jaden and I was like telling him about a, a couple days before where I was like thinking about him, my son as a, like a small kid and I like started crying because like I missed that child even though I don't have a, a huge gap like Mary does I still miss that little kid and now you know He's technically an adult and I hate it, but uh, I understand that mourning and uh, it's just too much for her right now. And I guess on one hand, you can say it's a little selfish because Dean and Sam are still processing that she's even back in the first place and it, it sucks to, to lose her again so quickly. But if she's not gonna be present and okay then she's got to do what's best for her and i hope they can understand that but uh you know i still feel like there's plenty to go into to get through and i feel like that's still gonna happen it just can't happen all at once so it'll be interesting to see how dean and sam move forward from this <sighs> it sucks this i really like this episode um i like to see mary struggling with this new world it's a lot faster and uh a lot to wrap your head around and dean and sam are so used to just the motions of it that they don't even realize what would be off for her just like hear the phone and then leaving like uh hello she doesn't know how to use a touch screen <laughs> so I, I like that it focused on her and the case was very similar to what had happened with her 
um, the, the freezing of the heart is definitely uh, the metaphor here for what happened to them at such a young age for her, those kids. And maybe that even is a part of it where she doesn't, she's so, I don't know if embarrassed is the right word, but it might just be hard for her to look them in the eye knowing the life that they have had because of her choice, if you can call it a choice, because of, you know, the situation the Winchesters have always found themselves in, which is, you know, surrounded by demons who want to break them. So there's a lot, a lot going on. And uh, if she needs to sort it out, it, it's and, and if she feels like she can't be around, it's best that she does go now and it not become something negative, uh, a negative energy that they have to be focused on what they do. And it'll be good to see Dean and Sam and have them talk about it. Maybe they can get some processing in with each other. That's kind of hard to do when she's always around and they can kind of talk through the the difficult parts of it where they do have some probably negative emotions to, uh, for her that they don't really want to push onto her because she's been through a lot but they deserve to get to you know work it out for themselves so i'm sure we'll still get more of her but uh that's the way the show works. She can't be there all the time. But I do, I have to say, I'm loving how ensemble the show is feeling right now. It feels like a brave new world I'm very excited about. Uh, Cass and Crowley working together was amazing. <laughs> I love to see it. And, uh, you know, Cass has got his own shit that he's dealing with. He, he, Truly, you know, obviously he feels super responsible for Lucifer being out and he, I, I guess he just doesn't want to burn and burden Dean and Sam with it. And also he wanted them to deal with their own shit. So he kind of just took off, but you know, luckily Crowley was there and they had their own little team up going on. I really appreciated that. But at the end of the day, Rowena didn't need them either. There were, there were some parallels there for Rowena and Mary um, oof, if we want to get down into that, that would be fascinating because she was also an absent mother for completely different reasons, way more selfishly. But, uh, she handled Lucifer. I was hoping that she wasn't going to help him and had a trick up her sleeve and she did. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> and she said, you know, she's not going to be there all the time with them in the same way Mary is, but she said, call me in when you need me. So I love that. I love having someone so powerful. She's so valuable. And uh, if we are going to get rid of Lucifer, I think she is a huge part of that. And she has a score to settle with him. So yeah, Rowena is in our She's in our group, you know, it's an expanded group and not everyone's together all the time, but I, lo I love Kaz and Crowley working together. That I was, that was so unexpected, but so exciting. Beyonce and Z. <laughs> Excellent. So I don't know what Lucifer's going to do now. I'm sure he's going to find another vessel, but the fact remains is he can't sustain it. No matter who he's in, he starts breaking down. So, yeah, I don't know what he's going to do. Hmm. Well, I'd say I, I'm truly loving this season. It, it's feeling like uh, some of my favorite seasons where it, it it's balancing the, the big, problems with the family drama in like such a pitch perfect way that I'm very excited about because this you could say is the you know, a monster of the week 
but it's so intrinsically tied into Mary's character while also having the cast and Crowley and Rowena and Lucifer stuff. Like, oh, it felt so balanced and beautiful. Like, yes, like that's literally what I, it's, it's all that I want for the show. And uh, that makes me very happy. So I, I really like this episode. Uh, nothing with the middle letters, which fine. I'm sure we're going to meet that dude, whatever. But uh, maybe Sam and Dean will have some time to themselves in the bunker and can get some reading done about the mental letters. They found, like, Sam found one thing, but it's super redacted. So one thing, there, there's, I'm sure there's some other communications between the chapters that they'll be able to find eventually. Uh, can somebody remind me, um, was Azazel pro Lucifer? Like, was he acting on Lucifer's orders or was he just kind of his own thing? Like, I know he wanted to make a demon army and have the special children lead it or one of the special children. But was that to like free Lucifer? I don't really remember. Um, so I'm trying to figure out if these parallels are for specifically Azazel or if it's even like for Lucifer as well. So remind me, because I fucking can't remember. <laughs> Uh, this was, this was, this was good. Um, I hope we continue on with the family dynamic parallels and the monsters that we're facing, uh, specifically with Dean and Sam, now that Mary's not going to be going on those, I, I really want to know how they feel about everything that's going on. Because as, as much as seeing Mary in those situations with those kids is heartbreaking for her. Like it reminds you of little Dean and Sam in that crib. Like it's just as, it's just as heartbreaking and tragic for them. And, uh, I really, I really hope this season and having Mary around is going to be something that helps them get past some of their past, um, break down those walls, those metaphorical walls and, uh, release their inner children from their trauma. And I hope that's what we're getting at. Um, Yeah, I, oh God, those, those poor kids. Ugh, kills me. I mean, that guy sucked. Like, okay, you decided to wall yourself off and starve to death, but did you, why did you have to do that to those kids? Ugh, awful, awful. Well, Cass is still going to be on the hunt for Lucifer. I hope the Cass and Crowley thing continues on. But, you know, if they want to also bring Sam and Dean in, I think that's the move eventually. But maybe it'll be like a Rowena thing where when they finally have him in their eyesight, they can then bring the team in. Like, that's what I want it to be. I, I, I hated God's plan last year. But I love that it involved all of our big players and how everyone was willing to put all the beefs aside and just to get it done. So while I hate that Mary left and Rowena left, I, I still like what we got out of it with with Mary and the boys, but also with Crowley and Rowena. Like, I, I don't think it's just Lucifer he was looking for. I think he was trying to help his mom too. 
there's so many complicated feelings there too. And uh, Rowena actually showing remorse for her role in this is huge because I didn't think we'd see that. Um, for the most part with her, everything has been self-serving. And when self, when the, the greater good serves her, she helps, which is great. But for her to want to fix her mistakes is a big thing because I want her to want to fix her mistakes with her son. I don't know if that's something we would ever see, but I would be so here for that. Uh, and if they, you know, parallel that with Mary, even better. Mary was reading John's journal, which is good. And it's probably dredging up some feelings. She said she misses him, which I believe. Um, we've heard varying things about how their relationship was. I don't think it was perfect by any stretch, but they did love each other. And uh, she's also having to deal with the information that she learned last week with Dean saying that he did change and she can probably read that in his words. He's a, probably a bit colder than she remembers and that plays into the, the, the monster of this episode. Um, so yeah, I, I really like this episode. I like what they did. I'm loving the season. I hope this kind of episode is indicative of what it will be like. Um, the show is just so much fuller when we have all of these different characters and relationships really like working together in a beautiful symphony that I just am here for. So this was really good. Really, I'm all in on the season so far. So yeah, good episode. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.